easy mind, easy life. So, following on from the previous topics, I have a question for you today. I may turn into a few questions <laughs> as I was thinking. The first question was, what is stopping you from being happy? So I really want you to sit with that today and ask yourself throughout the day, what is stopping me from being happy? What is in the way of me and happiness? I remember one morning, because for me, more than happiness has been freedom, right? The, this feeling of not being free, right? And, uh, and I have lots of conversations with my 11 year old now. <laughs> And one morning, I'm there, you know, I'm just getting my tea ready. I was just about to take a sip. And she comes into the kitchen and she says to me, Mum, I said, what? <laughs> she goes, she says to me, you're not waiting for freedom. She says, freedom is waiting for you. And she walked off. Oh, she gets these funny messages sometimes and she just throws them at me. And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> so... That's a good question. What is stopping you from being happy? And as you think about that, there's probably a list happening. Probably a list, big list. My boss, my work, my partner, my children. It's big list of all the things in my house, my car, all the things that aren't working in your life right now. joy you are happiness already you are that you are that so what is stopping you in this present moment from being happy is you there's nothing else in the way I know you've probably got a huge list I gave you time to, in your mind, make up this list. <laughs> I even helped you with it a little bit. <laughs> my debts, my, who knows what else is on that list, right? All these outside things of why you can't be happy right now. But the only thing stopping you from being happy is you. Always. The only thing stopping you from being at peace is you. Your mind gets caught up in all these dramas, in all these things outside of you that cause you to not have peace inside. Because we've, we've never been taught. As children, I was never taught that you are the joy. The joy is already in you. You are the peace. The peace is already in you. And this love that you spend your whole life looking for out there in a gazillion partners, in a gazillion different things, that love is you. And that's the love you've been looking for your whole life. I have a beautiful soul partner. I couldn't have asked for more. I love him dearly. And my daughter, I love her dearly. But they were not the love I was looking for. And I spent a good part of my adult life feeling alone. And lonely. Not just alone, but lonely. Like I was the only one. Like I'd been left here and I was the only human on the whole planet sometimes. That's how I felt. Even though I was surrounded by people that loved me and that I loved, there was an emptiness inside that it just can't be filled by anything outside of you. It just can't. That joy that we're talking about, that happiness, it can't be filled by anything outside of you. And that peace can't be filled 
by anything outside of you. And so many of us spend our whole lifetimes chasing all these things outside of us because that will give us peace. That will give us joy. That will bring us love. But today in this video, I'm here to tell you that you, you are the love. You are the peace and you are the joy that you are looking for. It's not out there. And yes, it's your experience to go through all of that. That's what we're here for. <laughs> so please do it all. Do it all. There is no right way or wrong way. We're all on the same journey to the same destination. We're all going to die. None of us get a free pass from that. That's the end of the trip for all of us. <laughs> we're born. That's the beginning of the trip. We have this beautiful journey called life, middle of the trip, and then we die, end of the trip. We all punch out at the end with our death card. All of us, no exceptions that I know of. <laughs> so, you know, what you do in between is up to you. How you want to live what's in between is up to you. But you are here now. How do you want to live it? How do you want to be? What? What's your priority? You know, if you're in pain and if you're suffering, emotional pain, I'm talking about emotional pain, but look, even physical pain, but we'll come back to that another time. If you're in pain and if you're suffering, I'm telling you here, this is optional. You can choose not to by changing the thoughts in your head by changing the way you look at yourself. You don't have to be the victim anymore. You don't have to be anyone's victim. You don't have to be afraid of anything, of anyone. You choose to. It's a choice. We choose in every moment, whether we feel we're making a decision or not, we are choosing. We're choosing to stay angry with a parent or we're choosing to understand, have compassion and forgive. There's a choice. We are choosing to love ourselves or we are choosing to look for love out there and find someone else to love us because we can't love ourselves. Do you see? We go looking for love out there in the hope because this is what happened the first you know time i looked for love i was expecting that person to make me feel loved because up until that point in my life i didn't feel loved but how can someone outside of you make you feel loved if you can't even love yourself if you can't love you how can someone else love you Think about it, like really, really think about it. If you can't love this, who you are, all of it, <laughs> you can't love it. How can something outside of you love it? If you're already saying this is unlovable, oh, don't, don't even. <laughs> and yet you go looking for love out there because if they can love you, what, you can love you? How does that work? Because what I've noticed is no matter how much that other person loves you, you never accept that love. No matter how much they love you, you never accept it. It's never good enough. Because you don't love you. It starts with you. Everything starts with you. How can you expect someone else to make you happy? They don't know what's going on in here 24 seven. They don't know, you know? <laughs> no matter how much you've told them about yourself, they can't know, they can't, unless they can read minds and then they can, you know, what I call telepathetic, 
that they can help <laughs> telepathic, I think it's the actual word. I always call it telepathetic. I make up my own words. But, you know, if they have that skill that even they can read your mind. Another person cannot make you happy. Another person cannot bring you peace. Because all of these things are not out there in someone else. They're in you already waiting. Like my daughter said, the freedom is waiting for you. It's not the other way around. All of these beautiful things are inside of you waiting for you to remember that this is what you are. To remember that I am the love. To remember that I am the peace. To remember that I am the joy. I am all these things already. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.